I have a story for you guys I haven't told you yet. Oh, let's hear it. All right. So um, I uh, got a message on Facebook yesterday. Cool. Uh, from <laughs> That's pretty from, sweet. Thanks for sharing that. From a booker. And he said, hey, do you have a clean tape you can send me? And I, I knew the guy from just Comedy World. And, yeah. and I said, yeah, I can send it to you. And he said, uh, Ryan Hamilton is looking for an opener in Oklahoma City. Ryan Hamilton is a clean comic mm-hmm. uh, who has a Netflix special. Oh. And he's performing at the Tower Theater on Friday. And they're looking for a, a yeah. local opener. And uh, I was like, all right, yeah, sure. Yeah, here's here's my tape. I said, do you need a longer tape? It was five minutes. And he's like, no, this will do good. And then that was it. And then he sent me a message. He goes, hey, what's your phone number? So I sent it to him. And then he said, all right, uh, their manager is going to reach out to you Maybe. <laughs> and then they never reached out. Oh. <laughs> but uh, uh, I was, I'm just excited that yeah. I was part of the conversation. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah steps. Like, Ryan Hamilton is an amazing comedian mm. and he's been on Berbiglia's podcast. Mm. Uh, he, I, I would fit in well with his demographic. And, you know, I'm just like, you know, maybe it doesn't work out this time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, maybe there's a reason. Yeah, but maybe next time it will. Yeah, or maybe they're going to call you still, or and you don't. I'm a very, it'd be very last minute. <laughs> well, there's been. Oh, it's this for this Friday. It'd be this Friday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, I just there's been many acting jobs I've gotten where I've just thought, oh well, I guess that didn't work out, and then it's like a month later, and then they're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you got it. Yeah. What? Yeah. That thing that I yeah. tried out for two months ago. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So even, but like you guys know at the beginning of the year, I, I, I had, when I did my life plan, <laughs> which is a very nerdy sounding kind of thing, but kind of changed my life, m- kind of in my five-year plan is, which we have four years to go, two of the big things are going on tour with a national headliner, yeah, like, yeah. A, like a Nate Bergazzi, Leon Morgan, mm-hmm. John Chris, those guys would yeah. be right up my alley. Uh or and and doing the tonight show yeah and so i was just like hey it was a spark yeah totally yeah, yeah, yeah. that's super encouraging yeah so you that's know awesome, man yeah that's so cool. hey share my wins share my losses or my ki- kind of win yeah <laughs> yeah i just crossed over fifty thousand followers on instagram really one Whoa. up in my story no there. <laughs> i was just saying <laughs> We're talking about sharing wins, so no, that's about, true. I don't know, 120 yeah. something on his is just TikTok an actual and, win. <laughs> just an actual win. Mine, not as much. Yours is a hey, I'm good, some no. good momentum. Listen, there's always <laughs> no, like, you're right. You're right. The followers stuff, all that. There's always people that are further ahead of you. And it, you know, I have a friend who we were just talking about stuff, and he's like, "Yeah, mine kind of plateaued for a while, but now I picked back up again." And and he was talking about how long he's been on Instagram, and it was less than I have been on yeah. there. And he's at like, I think it was 180,000 followers okay. or something. You're just like, yeah, well, that's awesome, man. Happy for you. Yeah. I If you listen back to our Dustin Nickerson episode where we interview the comedian Dustin Nickerson, he, he talks about his, his brand of comedy or him. He's like, he never thought of himself as being a viral sensation. Yeah. He just always thought, uh, do the show. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, work work it yeah and slowly but you know like he has over a hundred thousand followers on tiktok but it took him a lot longer than it took you Mm, and mm, so and 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 that's encouraging to me because it's everybody has a different story sure sure i mean like you i don't know her story real well but leanne morgan she started comedy way late in her life yeah and then she had just some clips blow up yeah and then she hit a a demographic that like older ladies yeah, who just yeah. like really resonate with her work. Totally. And so, and now she has a Netflix special out. Yeah. So everybody's amazing. got a different story. And Guys, I, I, I got think a, the... I've got a story I want to share. Oh, please. What? What? I got, I just got my 118th follower on Instagram. Hey. <laughs> Gary. Hey. Robin Lawson. Hey, way to go, Robin. Shout Thank out you, to Robin. Robin. I don't know how she found me. Oh, I mean, well, we're friends. Would, that's she awesome. is our friend, so that might be why. <laughs> that might be part of it. Might be part that of it. Might have played a small role in it. Yeah. So. Oh, way to go, Gear. That's pretty awesome. good for not being active for three or four years. I was say, when's the last time you? <laughs> it's been a while. Let me tell you, in the last post <laughs> I have on here, I even have to go to Safari to to look at. Yeah, because I don't have the app. Ooh, September fourth, twenty sixteen. This is the last time you posted. Last post. <laughs> Huh? There you go. 
<laughs> so if anybody wants to follow Gary, just know. That's a thrill ride. Posts about once every <laughs> seven years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Um, Sorry, I did, I did interrupt. Chris was about to go off on something very exciting. What was, what was I going to say? What were you going to say? I don't I remember. I just said everyone's journeys, stories oh, are different. Oh, I was going to say uh, when Dustin Nickerson, said, Nickerson talked about the slow kind of grind and it just being oh, grind rise and grind let's go uh no the the um slow but surely i like i like i like that mindset yeah because i think it is um and like i like what you're doing i feel like is i really respect like you're just constantly like laying the groundwork to like be able to do this for real mm-hmm people can blow up and they're gone after, Oh yeah. you know, I just feel like there's way more longevity yeah. when you're really going through all the, uh, all the, the levels of growth as opposed to just kind of blowing up. Yeah. So, and the idea of just going like, I thinking about it as like building assets or building abilities, building skills. Um, it's like you, 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 you need to have those skills mm-hmm. that people that just blow up don't get those skills because right. they don't have to develop them. Um, so, I think it's really cool, and and like when Dustin Nickerson was talking about that was was meaningful to me too because, like I was saying, I see people. There's another dude who just started on TikTok in January of this year, who's already over a million followers. Oh, what and, crazy! Yeah, it's like th- four months. Wow. So yeah. it's like there's everybody's got a different everybody's got a different thing. So so what's blowing up to you is yeah. like not blowing up to somebody else or whatever. So you just. Take it for what it is, and I don't know. I'm, I'm just thankful for it. So, so today we're in in a smooth transition. Uh, today we're talking about uh, an experience that Chris just had. Chris just filmed uh, last week alone. <laughs> yeah, two hundred cameos in uh, prep for Mother's Day. For Mother's Day, uh, yeah. If, we'll, we'll talk about what cameo is. If you don't know, we're going to talk about how you do it, how you got started, that whole thing, mm-hmm. and. Um, and it's going to be great. I think it's yeah. a world that people don't know about and it's yeah. part of our, our journey. And so we're going to talk about that. And uh, yeah. And then I think we got a email of the week that Woo. we're going to read. That's pretty good. Okay, here we go. Let's go. All right. If you're just joining the podcast for the first time, thanks for checking us out. Uh, I'm Adam Bush. I'm Chris Munch. It's Chris Munch. Behind the scenes here is, well, if you're watching on video, Gary Hornstein, our pal. Hello. Three best friends doing life together. Uh, this podcast specifically started following my and Chris's journey. I worked at a church for 15 years. Chris worked at a church for 22 and a half. <laughs> and we both left working there uh, about the same time to pursue comedy professionally. Mm-hmm. I'm a stand-up and a writer. Chris is an actor and a stand-up. And uh, every week, we just talk about what's happening, uh, shows, specials, cameos. What we're learning. What? Yeah. We're in Tulsa, Oklahoma, so it's a very unique kind of situation. Our jobs are not normal. No one else yeah. around <laughs> us has these jobs. Yeah. And we're very blessed and very thankful. Yeah, and absolutely. so we just wanted to share it with anybody who wants to listen and uh, our podcast is sponsored by Northern Creative, which is Gary's company, video production, animation, graphics. You can check it out at northern.work and hire Gary for all of your video needs, video needs, <laughs> multimedia, for any multimedia <laughs> well, presentations. I mean, he can do one. He can do <laughs> yeah. whatever you need. You know? Yeah. He does our podcast and he is excellent. He's fantastic. Yeah. He's, we've been working together for so long. It's also brought, uh, our, we want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Looney Bin Comedy Club Looney in Bin. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Woo, 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 <laughs> <Go. woo. laughs> Looney Bin is my home club and you can check out Looney Bin Comedy, the Tulsa tab to see the lineup. Uh, big shout out to Mason who runs the club there or owns the club, I should say. Allie is the general manager. So, uh, yeah, I love that club. Yeah. So, uh, to get all the housekeeping out of the way. All right. We're talking about Cameo. Mm-hmm. So, just we've talked about this before, but uh, short, quick, quick uh, story of how you got into doing Cameos. Yeah. Right. So, I had done different. You know what? Explain what a cameo is first. Sure. A cameo is 
Cameo is a website. Cameo.com. They, they've coined the term a cameo, uh, which is basically just a personalized greeting to somebody, a video greeting. Um, and typically, it's like for celebrities. Like you would, like you could see people from the office on there. Yeah, you get on. Ice T is on there. Yeah, the rapper. I mean, most people probably know him now as the, the actor and whatever that C- crime show is. CSI. Yeah, something maybe CSI. Something like something that. Like that. Yeah. Ice T is on there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you or or there's different comedians on there. There's just actors. You know, whatever. And, and you're, just, you're just like, hey, my buddy Chris loves you. It's his birthday. Can you make a video? I'll pay. I'll pay iced tea to make a video that says happy birthday. And then I send it to you. And I say, yeah. And then you send it to him. So cool. Um, yeah, that's what it is. I like that. You keep only saying iced tea. Like, you're not <laughs> I'm trying to it. think of somebody who people would know. Yeah. So there's a lot of so people that are very. Iced tea is on there <laughs> if you wanted to get one from iced tea. <laughs> Have you thought about Ice T? <laughs> consider there, him. Surely, there's some demographic of people listening to this. They're like, Ice T. What are you tea? talking what about? Yeah. So, all right, continue. I think Snoop Dogg used to be on there. Yeah. I don't think he's I on there anymore. I know there's people from the Office. And yeah, like, definitely Office people. There's probably some former SNL alumni, probably. musicians. Yeah. We could just keep going. We just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so. I did videos for people just for fun. Like I remember one of my characters, Pastor Bobby, I did for our our pastor and for friend. his like, birthday or something. Yeah, for his birthday, just for fun. I had another friend that I was like, oh, I should do a birthday greeting just as Pastor Bobby. And I thought, oh, these are really fun, but I, how would I ever right. do this? And fast forward to once kind of my Stephen Stevens character took off. Somebody in the comments just was like, hey, would, do you do personalized messages? And I just thought, no, but I should. Some, something's dinging. Ding my computer is dinging. Hold on. not silence their Sorry. phone. Sorry. I'm on uh, Cameo's website right now. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to, you know, Santa is on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can get for $10. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mark McGrath. Oh, there you go. Mark McGrath. Only 90 bucks. Ninety bucks to have Mark McGrath when uh, have birthday. Sh- Sugar Ray, is yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Colin Mockery. Yeah, oh yeah, whose line is it? Yeah, who's on it? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, a, yeah, he's a big player on there. Kanye East. I think he's a YouTube guy. Okay. There's a lot of TikTokers, YouTubers, okay, that stuff on there too. But I, the most successful people I feel like are th- are usually on like television shows. Um, yeah, there's people like like reality TV. There's a lot of reality TV right, people yeah. in there. Die yeah. loves um, crappy uh, like teen dramas, dramas, like CW, okay. like The Outer Banks. Does she watch that? I think I've seen her watch that. Isn't it like River Riverdale? Yeah, yeah Riverdale, Riverdale was one. That's a big one. <laughs> she loved, uh, and, and in her defense, she hasn't been watching as much lately because she doesn't watch television unless I'm there. But uh, she. That sounds like. Did you give her that rule? No, <laughs> and 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 what a terrible rule when your husband travels for a living. Yeah, like she'll just be at home. She just decided this is what she wanted to do, or is it just? I think she felt like she was watching too much television, oh, okay. so you. she was like, "If we're not watching it together, I'm not watching it." I got you. Okay. And so, no chance. I mean, no chance. I am watching Vampire Diaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know that sounds like a jerky husband. Yeah, but I just. That uh, my taste is higher. I can't do that. I can't do it. So, and uh, actually, the reason is we have shows that we like together. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. we've been sure. watching Ted Lasso, sure. and and so we're not. Yeah, we have plenty of shows to watch together. So, uh, w- what were we talking about? Oh, uh, so, if someone reached out and said, "Hey, would do you do personalized messages?" So, someone on thought- t- so you got a big TikTok following. Yeah, you re- you reached like over. You had- I had just crossed over twenty thousand. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And someone had said, Hey, do you do personalized messages? Personalized messages? And I said, No, but I should. And so, or I think I responded, Yes. I don't remember what. But basically, I was like, Oh, I need, I need to figure this out. Yeah. So I reached out to Cameo and uh, filled out the stuff. And they're just like, If you have over 20,000, we'll, we'll consider it, I guess. Yeah. And I crossed over that and they loved it. And so they were like, yeah, come on. And these are uh, your characters. Uh-huh. You're, so you're doing cameos as your character. Yeah, I'm doing it. It's the only way it makes any sense. It's like, 
Has so, anybody ever asked you to do a cameo for just you? Uh, no, there was once where a lady, I, I thought she might be asking for me to do it just as Chris. Yeah. And so then I was like, do you want this as just me or as Steven? She's like, oh no, Steven. Yeah. Okay. Like, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just, if you, as, if this is your first time just listening. Fine. It doesn't make any sense otherwise. To the podcast, you have four characters mm-hmm. that you do on TikTok. Yeah. Steven Stevens, most popular, MLM Chad, Pastor Bobby, and uh, Ricky Rhodes. Ricky Rhodes. Yeah. So, okay. So. Yeah. Anyway, so so I made a video advertising that I do personalized messages and it and it took off and it's just been going well ever since. Yeah, you've done so a lot. That was since last year. Yeah. Yeah. So first off, if you want a cameo from Chris, go to chrismunchcomedy.com. Yeah. You'll find a link there. Yep. And you can order one. Yeah. Steven Stevens is your big one. Yeah, absolutely. That's who you do yeah, yeah. most. And it makes the most sense. It's fun to the idea of sending yeah. a loved one or a friend. You know, this kind of creepy. So guy. can you give, can you sort of like, can you do an example of one for us now? Like we, I could, uh, I'll, I'm ordering it. Okay. It's, uh, isn't your birthday coming up gear? Yeah. Yeah. June okay. 5th. Yeah. What, what birthday is it? 41? 41. 41. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so I, so I buy one. Hey, it's my buddy Gary Hornstein's birthday. What kind of stuff do people put in? So yeah, you just put in, um, your uh, yeah, what's the event? Is it an okay. anniversary, birthday, okay. or just other, just something? Uh, and then, and then based on that, there's different questions you answer. But um, typically, it's just like, what's the relationship between you and the person? Okay. The best ones I feel like are for like women who are single or or married women. I got a whole okay. angle to play there that's funny. Okay. Um, the ones for other men are usually the trickiest. Okay, so let's do one for my wife. It was just her birthday. Okay. And we'll do that. So um so uh okay, so this cameo is for Die Bush and uh it's her birthday. Okay. And um do I wh- is there a question of like things she's my wife. Yeah. Are there is there a question of like things she likes or whatever or or do I say so whatever? You can do that. Yeah. If if you don't if you just tell me that she's your wife, yeah, and then I've got a whole thing I can do. Oh, but, okay, great. But okay. If, if you put in details about what she likes, what she doesn't like, then I infuse that into... Should I give you a detail whatever. or no? I don't want to do a whole... I, they're like four minutes long. Is usually well, don't what do I a do. four minute. Just do part of it. Okay. Four, four minutes. minutes. Yeah. That's, so that's People are getting their money's worth. Yeah. yeah. Goodness. <laughs> yeah. Can you just do an abbreviated one? Oh, yeah, I can try. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I can do it. Okay, here we go. Uh, and a uh, cameo from Steven Stevens for my wife, Die Bush. Could you do it for, could we do it for someone else since I know Die? Oh, you don't want to And do I'm it. not in character. Like, I'm just. Okay, who do you want to do it for? Just make up a name. Okay. Robin Lawson. <laughs> You don't want it to do. It for, I don't want to do it for somebody I know. It <laughs> yeah. just gets weird. If oh, it's. okay. No, no problem. Uh, yeah, do it for my friend Julie. Julie. Yeah, she's my friend. She's not married. She's she's single. Yeah, she's single. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, do you need is a, it her birthday? Is it what's the occasion? Uh, it's it's her birthday. Okay. Yeah. Is you do it to the camera there? Happy birthday to Jules. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Hey Jules, what's going on? <laughs> Did I stump you? Steven Stevens here. Uh, just wanted to uh, say hey. Uh, my my my, what a woman! <laughs> Jeez, you're checking all my boxes. <laughs> Would love an opportunity to uh, you know celebrate. Gosh, I wish I could be there to celebrate in person, but I guess this video is going to have to suffice. <laughs> what a lot about you. You know, some champagne or maybe uh, some chocolate covered strawberries or maybe a nice box of wine. <laughs> but anyway, it's a love and opportunity to take you out to your favorite, you know, reasonably priced restaurant or you know, get split an entree, have some appetizers. So, anyways, uh, if that sounds interesting to you, then, uh, well, let me know. So. Blessings. My favorite part <laughs> was that you said you would like to buy her champagne and a box of wine. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, you, ju- it was just Mother's Day. Yeah. So, it's gone really well. Cameo has been really big for you. Yeah, Cameo has been f- fantastic. It's, it's my main revenue stream. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, so grateful. Do you? Would you say they're you, really fun too? You make the videos for TikTok and Instagram really ultimately for i mean because those don't pay you anything it's got to be camp yeah i think that is a misconception where people think that oh you're getting all these millions of views or whatever you must be making a ton of money off your views you don't make anything off your views yeah um so for anybody out there who's frustrated with me doing advertising or something like that (laughs) that's why it's because i'm not i don't make any money on the views so yeah uh yeah, so so um, I'm sorry. What were you asking me? So I was asking um, you. You've done a lot. Yeah, and but holidays are a big deal for you. Yeah, so holidays are a big deal. So you had your biggest like, and I'm rush. finding out that Mother's Day, I think, is the holiday of all holidays for Stephen. Yeah, because <laughs> I've done Christmas, did really well at Christmas. I've done two Valentine's Days now, and Mother's Day seems to be the one that's is it the that resonates the most. Yeah, with okay, people. so yeah. And they're super fun. I, I really enjoy doing them. I did so many this week, though. It was, just, it was really, it was really challenging. Two, over 200. I did over 200 of them. That's so many. Uh, in a week's time. So I did like 41, four, or 26 one day, 46 another day, 50 in the next day, and then 40 something another day. And then there were some that I, it, it was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. I mean, like, how long the one the day that you did the most? How long did that? How long does one take you? And then how yeah. long did all of them? So it depends on what they ask for. The more information they ask, it takes me longer just because I have to figure out how to work it into. I have you, just kind of a basic framework. Yeah, and then I take their information and then I infuse that into into the different places. Sometimes they'll throw me a curveball. I feel like I've pretty much seen it all at this point, but where I have to kind of, I'll just do like a completely new one. And those are fun when you have time, but when you've got a like a yeah. ton of what's a curveball? Well, just like asking for something that's maybe outside of the norm. Normally, um, it's just like, hey, it's her birthday. This is what she likes. This is oh, uh, yeah. you know, and and then like I want you to say this on behalf of me, kind of a thing. So you know, I, I've got ways of infusing my my whole thing is I I watch other people's like personalized messages and it's frustrating because they typically like a lot of them don't even look at the camera they just like <laughs> reading oh okay and it's like okay it says that Sally said here that you're supposed to you're going to be celebrating this so that's great yeah you, it's, it just feels like it's like I try to make it feel completely real completely like yeah um the any information that I'm sharing is information that I actually know yeah. Uh, and I'm not always able to do that. Sometimes you have to kind of look down at the thing, but. And you've got a pretty high rating, don't you, on Cameo? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Five, yeah. five star, five star rated. Have you had anyone be unhappy with? I had one lady who was upset with, um, she just said that it, oh, it, it stopped playing in the middle of the thing. Like oh. the audio cut out or oh. something in the middle of the video. And she put out a review saying, you know, complete, you know, waste of money, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And I felt so bad because I could totally redo it. Like, I think she didn't Aww. understand that I could have, and she just messaged me, which you can do right there in the app or whatever. I would have been happy to redo it. And she didn't. And she didn't. Oh, that stinks. So, so I was sad about that. But Yeah. Well, that stinks. Okay. I, and I, yeah. So, but I've never had anybody just be like, this sucked. What do you, you know? But yeah, so the personalized stuff, it's all, it's just fitting into buckets. So it's not as hard as it might seem to put in their personal information. So, um, do you, can you usually do it in one take? Usually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, very often I, I don't, which is frustrating. Very often. If you I, screwed up, like you're three and a half minutes into a four minute video yeah, and then you screwed up yeah. and you're like, come on, I got to start all over. Okay. And then how many videos do you have on your phone? Yeah. Oh, a lot. A lot. So just, you're, I have you're, to delete them. Like I, cause you would just fill your phone up. Yeah. Because as it go, like they order it, you look up the information, oh. you film it with your phone, and then you upload it to them. So Cameo's app it works really well where it, it all, I download a copy to my phone, but I'm not physically yet sending it to them. Um, Cameo does that. Yeah, but do you upload it to Cameo? Like, it automatically does it. Basically, when I, I finish the video. Oh, in Cameo. Yeah, I shoot it in oh, Cameo. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that seems a lot better. Yeah. But that's why, that's why, so that's the way it works right now. Right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's nice where it, the, uh, it sends it, um, you know, or whatever. And then we can message each other too. So sometimes I'm like, hey, how do you pronounce this name? Or Oh, okay, it's like right that. there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really I nice. Message him. So uh, then, okay, so you, you did over 200 and it was a lot. 
big blessing, but also just like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, do you do the other characters? I do occasionally because I was asking you the other day, like, uh, MLM Chad mm-hmm. has a spray, a fake tan mm-hmm. and a goatee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you, so like on cameo, you can order a Steven Stevens video within 24 hours. Like I want to yeah. get it within 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't really be able to do that with Chad. Would you? Unless it just worked out. Um, I guess you could do it right now. You have. Yeah. So I'm always like growing my facial hair out basically. And so then whenever I shave, I'll just shave to a goatee and okay. then I'll shoot my yeah. chads. And then it's happened before where I have seven days to deliver the video. So I usually just go like, okay, I've got a couple cameos as Chad. I'll do those and then shoot my videos. For so if you mess that up, that's funny. If you mess that up, you would, you wouldn't be able to do it. Like if you're like, shoot, I shaved. Well, and with Chad too, I can just use mascara. I don't have to have a ton of hair. Oh, okay. okay. And I can kind of just make it. Oh, okay. It'll, it'll look decent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But that one's probably harder because it requires a lot more. Like Steven, you're just putting a shirt on or whatever. and Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to do the makeup and all that stuff, which is, yeah, it takes a little bit of time. And I just don't, like Steven, I feel like I can, I have so many different ways I can do it Yeah. now because I've done so many of them as Steven that, you, I mean, I could just do them live and it would it probably wouldn't be that hard. Okay. Chad, it's a little bit like, it takes more work to yeah. kind of like, because I'm like, it took me a long time with Steven to just figure out all these different avenues and all these different ways I can take them um, content wise. Yeah. And then, but with Chad, I haven't figured all that stuff out. So it's kind of a little bit harder, but. So but, let's wrap it up because we're going to do an email. Uh, what, you got any advice for anybody who maybe is considering getting into the cameo game? <laughs> speechless. He's speechless, people. I say, dude, well, you, you, you have dude, to have 20,000 followers. You have to have 20,000 followers. I think part of, I, I, it's, I don't know. I feel like my situation is so unique in that I, I really feel like I, I think it, oh, I, so I found Cameo texted me and said that I was one of the top performers for the week. Yeah, uh, Mother's Day week. For Mother's Day week. And I, they have a little leaderboard on there and I saw that I, I finished like second place two days and then one first place one day. So Chris, Jerry's going to slide. You need to acknowledge Oh, that. I'm so sorry. Thank I you for that. You I'm so sorry. Yes, wrap it up. I say that to say, I, part of that I think is just because of the nature of the character is yeah. just fun to share and fun to send videos like that to to loved ones. So it feels a little bit like a, a kind of a unique thing that, I mean, I would say if you can do it, do it. But I don't know that everybody, I mean, even just regular comedians, even well-known comedians yeah. don't book as many cameos as I do. It's an interesting kind of thing. Yeah, right. There's a lot of people that don't book as many cameos yeah. as I do just because of the nature of what I'm doing. So but I would say, yeah, absolutely do it if you can. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. And tell people about it, right? I mean, if you don't tell people, that's that one thing about you. It? You're really good at marketing yourself. Like your merge. No, I'm oh, not oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You are. You send, I'm getting you better. Email, at you send yeah. an email every week. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You yeah. post online. And, and yeah, you got to advertise. Yeah, yeah. I had a friend who has a lot of followers who, yeah, we were talking about it. I was like, how are you advertising? He's like, oh, I guess I haven't really advertised. Yeah. And then he did it and he's, he's been booking a lot of them. So that's great. Yeah. Cool. Hey, should we, speaking of advertising, do you want to show people the, the, the little preview of the Chad art, Chad merch? Oh, that we're working on. Gary has been helping me with some Chad. Yeah. What do you, what's going on? I just have, I'm going to be making some products for Chad. Oh, some cool. Chad products. You have a lot of products online. It's mostly it's Steven, Steven and Stevens. Pastor Bobby. Yeah. And I, so Chad, I'm, I'm going to be launching some, some products that Gary Hornstein, Gary uh, Hornstein over here has helped Northern me, Creative of Northern Creative has helped me with. So um, we don't have the products design, but we have some artwork. I mean, we can show the you. You want to? Can yeah. we show? Do you want to just put it up on the screen, or do you want to? How do you, to like? Do you want to hold wanna, up the phone? <laughs> you, how, do, how do you want to do it? Look at this. There's, there's me right there. Okay, here you hold it. Okay. Up. Would love any feedback in the comments section, but this is one. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen this. This is grind on uh, it. It's a, <laughs> a chat, like the Barack Obama hope. Yeah. Tilt uh, it down a little bit. If like you're that? not watching yeah. this on YouTube, jump over to YouTube so you can see this. Yeah, so that's that could go on a t shirt or a mug, something it, like that, probably. It's like the Barack Obama change artwork. Hope. Yeah, hope. Says, yeah, hope. <laughs> Except it's Chris, it's Chad, and it says grind. Yeah, that's fun. That's great. And then this is a fun one here. 
that just has a bunch of his like catchphrases on there, cashing checks and turning nucks. Yes. <laughs> Fake baker until you make bank. Is that a shirt? So this, I would see this as probably a shirt. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, dude, that, there's a fl- is that a flame in the back? There's some flames on there. We had a couple, of, uh, yeah, a couple alternative. Yeah, there's you like the flames, Adam? The flames or no are, flames? No, I love the flames. Okay, fake bank until you make bank. Yeah. Hashtag rise and grind. Yeah. So, anyways, I do some, hate him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some some merch opportunities coming up there. Um, that's awesome. But yeah, yeah, it's super cool. I, I think cameos are, are, are weird. Like it took me a little bit to kind of get over just the weirdness of I'm just like mm-hmm. in a corner in my house just going, hello, Lisa. Yeah. You know, uh, that took me some time to get over. But um, I don't know if my, if I've just, I don't know if it's a good thing that I got over that or not. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, it, it's it, the world. Uh, my my life is weird in that way. You're yeah. just like it's insane what I'm. I'm just sending people videos. Yeah, that's very weird. And uh, I'm an actor. Where do you act? Uh, uh, my people's phone. Yeah, I just uh, in my house. Yeah, shoot videos, but it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Uh, all right, uh, before we uh, finish up with the email of the week, we want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Looney Band Comedy Club in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My home club, uh, if you're in Tulsa or the surrounding area, you got to check it out, looneybandcomedy.com. You can see the lineup of all of the amazingly hilarious comedians that are coming out this year. Uh, always booking. They're always booking new comics uh, that you want to see. And uh, if you want to come on a Wednesday night, it's service industry night. That's where you can call Ooh. ahead and say, hey, I'm a, I am work as wait staff or bartender or uh, busboy. First responder. Or first responder. And... You can get a free or discounted ticket. You just got to call them up and let them know that you want to uh, reserve your ticket. Uh, or uh, Thursday nights are ladies' nights. Yes. And, uh, same thing. Call up. Ladies. Tell your lady. <laughs> and you can get a free or discounted ticket. And uh, what was the last thing I was going to say? Oh, you can buy your tickets online. So you can skip the box office. Go to Lunamid Comedy. Click on Tulsa. And you can uh, grab. You can see who's coming. Grab your tickets. And uh, very good chance I'll see you there because I'm yeah. there. All the time. Yeah. It's great. We got some, we got great comics coming up this year. All right. Um, let's uh, transition to email of the week. Hey, this email comes from a guy you've met. I don't know that Gary's met him, but his name's Mark David. He's my friend. Yes. And you met him at when we did yeah. uh, my yeah. special, yeah. when we shot my special. Yeah. And uh, this is in uh, response to uh, a few weeks ago, we did an episode where we were talking about how to incorporate your characters mm. into the live show. Yeah. And so Mark responded. He said, he emailed us at riskitpod at gmail.com. So if you want to email us, then we'll read yours online or on the air. Uh, long, long time listener, first time commenter to answer the question that was discussed about comics who play a character in their standup. Here are your answers to the people who have and, and you should and mm. who have. And then Chris, you should put your characters Mm-hmm. into your show mm-hmm. uh he said give me a solid awkward five minutes of a go- gold chained paisley shirted over tanned steven stevens and i'll be in heaven as would so many of your adoring fans make sure you have enough gel in your hair do you put a lot of gel in your hair i do for yeah. chad yeah oh, for chad. So i think he's mixing the two together oh, okay. but they're kind of interchangeable in some ways <laughs> yeah okay um uh, and then he said to encourage the thought process here's a list of some of those successful comedians who have kind of played a character. Rodney Dangerfield, who's, mm. you know, he never gets any respect. Larry the Cable Guy. Yeah, yeah, Dunn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bobcat Goldthwait. Is that, I don't know how you say his last oh, name. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Police Academy. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Andrew Dice Clay, Mitch Hedberg, Cheech Marin, Andy Kaufman. Yeah. You know, we mentioned him. Yeah. Um, uh, and he said, number eight, there are more, but there aren't any Steven Stevens. That's interesting. Yeah. So he's talking about just like, just going on as Steven Stevens and just that's who I am. Potentially. Yeah. yeah I mean, that's I think interesting. We, you and I have been talking about different ways we could do the show together mm-hmm. where maybe I feature for you and introduce each character. Yeah. I like the idea that I would be like, uh, here in the spin is uh, Chris Munch. 
It's coming up. But you know what? We have uh, yeah. we are so excited. <laughs> yeah. We have just had a multi-level marketing guru yeah. walk into the room. He just wants to level you guys up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or Steven Stevens with some dating tips. Yeah. Or well, pa- ladies night at the comedy club. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. Pastor Bobby's got a word. So, yeah. I'm excited. I hope I hope we do that. Yeah. We should. It we- sounds like a good conference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Chris Much Conference. Yeah. Summit. All right. That's awesome. Well, thank you for the, Thanks, Mark. For, for the uh, insights and the, the feedback. Yep. It's absolutely. Awesome. All right. Hey, thanks for listening to the episode. We hope you liked it. Please share it with your friends, review it, subscribe wherever you listen to it or watch it, wherever you stream it. Uh, of course, if you want to follow me at Hey Adam Bush on all the social medias, Chris is Chris Munch Comedy, Chris Munch Comedy on all the social medias. And then Gary's company, Northern.Work, is on Instagram, or you can check them out at Northern.Work. And if you want to email us, riskitpod at gmail.com. Please don't forget, if you're in Tulsa, August 26th, <laughs> I'm going to stop laughing. I'm going to fill up this show. August 26th at the Bricktown Comedy Club in Tulsa, Oklahoma, I am opening for comedian Dustin Nickerson. Woo! Great comic, hilarious, clean comedy. Uh, it's a uh, family-friendly show, 4 p.m., 13 and over, over. You can get your tickets at DustinNickerson.com. I will be in attendance. Gary might be. Gary's going to be yep. there. Gary will be there. Gary's going to be there. He's going to be there. Adam's going to make Gary I, go. I, I prophesy it. <laughs> I prophesy it. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, pick a character to say goodbye to us. Oh, my goodness. Um, well, we did some Steven earlier, so maybe... Uh, what about some Ricky Rhodes? Oh, yeah, some Ricky you know, Rhodes. Fourth of July is coming up. I feel like that's his Ricky holiday. Rhodes is super Fourth of July. I haven't done Ricky in a long time. Oh. Give me a second here. Do you want to do somebody else? Man, thank you all for just for being out here. I mean, it means the world to us. You know, you know me. I'm just a bleeding heart, you know, and so just being out here and putting myself out like this and seeing you guys just support. You guys just support time and time again, and it just means so much. It really does. And so thank you for all your support. So yeah. <laughs> Is Rick drunk? I guess that, that was that was chat. <laughs> all right. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>